reports on the competitive nature of high school sports for and is a Hi, this is Tony with iFurnish, Steamboat's newest furniture store. We've been in Summit County for 15 years and we're excited to bring fashionable, affordable furniture to the longtime locals of Steamboat. Whether you're looking to furnish a rental, remodeling, or just want an updated look, we've got it. We've got 11,000 square feet, carry bank beds, sleepers, dining room sets, recliners, and much more. We're proud to be a local, family-owned furniture store right here in Steamboat.
Hey, this is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we love to sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student athletes outside to enjoy all the Steamboat has to offer. Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working in and giving back. I'm number six, and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for six years. My team is. Services is proud to bring you this broadcast of Sailor Sports. They know each athlete has worked hard and dedicated themselves to their sport. That's how Mountain West was built, through hard work and dedication. Their local agents are ready to find an auto, home, business, health, or farm and ranch policy to fit your life. Visit one of their offices in Steamboat, Craig, or Meeker, and good luck, Sailor. Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services. Solutions for life. Competitive nature of high school sports and a success in and four year old foster and encourage teamwork and lead work and the and the homeowner. Hey, this is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we love to sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student athletes outside to enjoy all the Steamboat has to offer. Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working in and giving back. Steamboat Steamboat. Steamboat. Please visit us at SteamboatRoofing.com. Again, that's SteamboatRoofing.com. This is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we're proud of Sailor Sports Sponsor. Excited to have you here as we are getting set for the second period of action from the Howie Dome. Your Steamboat Sailors are going to have to kill off another 47 seconds of Heck Stevenson's holding call. I chatted with the officials during the intermission, and uh, the one told me that he absolutely had him in a bear hug. And so my, my argument for potentially calling it a hooking was invalid. So we'll see what the Sailors have. They do have the 2-0 lead as we start things off. Here's Tillman for Kent Denver immediately into the zone. Shoots one off the skate there of Sis. Worked by the Sun Devils again to the blue line. Now it's worked over to the far side, top of the circle. Man walks down the wall. Looks like that's controlled by Choi. Choi up the near side, and that's high off the glass. Skips, but is kept in. Nice job there from Helber 
to keep that alive. As Namanichek tried to get free of two different Kent Denver players, he couldn't. Possessed by the Sun Devils. They'll reverse course here. Six seconds until Stevenson releases. Pass to the near side. Picked up now by Elliott. Elliott tips it off the wall. And that one goes the length of the sheet. It will be icing. Now it's waved off. Interesting call there from the linesman. Now it's passed out front. Chance for Wittlinger. Hits bodies in front. Comes out to the blue line. It's Sis. Sis fires one that hits another body as well. Good job by Donovan to get in the lane. And Kent Denver is to the neutral zone. Choi pushes it along further. He'll go for a change. And Sis is going to try and gather this in his own end. Makes a move. Bumped off the puck, but Wittlinger's there to pick up. He's into the offensive end. Makes a move towards the outside, but spoke checked away from him by Tillman. Now taken back by Whitlinger. Back post play. Oh. Elliott was reaching. He was just a little bit off canter there. Otherwise, it could have been a great chance. Now Kent Denver again coming up ice. It's Stutz with it. And nice job from Fritzen just bodying him away. Pass D to D. Whitlinger tried to receive. Could not. Goes the length of the sheet. That'll be icing. And the Sailors will have to skate back and take this next face off in their own end. 2 nothing Steamboat with 15-13 remaining in period two. And Doc's Auto Clinic. For all your automotive repair needs on Copper Ridge Drive. And Switchback Sports. A proud Steamboat Sailor Sports sponsor and sponsoring all your skiing and biking needs on the corner of 4th and Lincoln in the West Building of downtown. It's going to be a face-off won by Steamboat, sent off of the wall, and icing nullified because the players beat that puck to the goal line. Chased down by Kent Denver. Nice job from Shoreland on the forecheck. Sends one out to the slot, no one home. Intercepted by the Sun Devils, out to the blue line, kept alive for a moment, then taken back by Steamboat. Sent in deep by Beyer. Worked behind the net by the Sun Devils. No one home on the near side wing. Blunt, though, is the first one to get there. And Blunt's one of those bigger bodies here for Kent Denver. They'll need him to exert his body in this uh, second period to get back into your Sailors having a completely different game than we saw yesterday against the Stanley Lake Gators, Tim. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's like I woke up and it's a totally different team. But i got to say that obviously Coach Ripley said something and we were talking about trends uh, last night. And clearly everyone's ready to go tonight. It's going to be Blunt at his own blue line trying to fight free. Byer was in before the puck offside Steamboat. 14.07 remaining here in the period. 2 nothing lead for your Sailors on KTYV 105.7. And we can see everything that's going on, but everyone that's listening at home, Mountain Eye Works helping you and the refs see better. For all the eye care needs at Central Park Plaza and online at mountaineyeworks.com. Especially that one. It's going to be taken by Bomer, chipped into the offensive end and pursued now by Norton as well. He picks it up, sends it off the side of the net, and it's going to be taken by Ken Denver and fired the length of the sheet. It'll become an icing. So an offensive zone faceoff for your Steamboat Sailors. This will come back to the glove side of the left catching Reed Wilfley in the Ken Denver end. And a wise man once told me that yeah, we can take things into consideration, 5 nothing, but we'll see. So it's going to be 2 nothing on the board. Oh! Shot! Oh! Patty Bomer tucking one home for your Steamboat Sailors. A nice job there off the faceoff. It's a broken play. It kind of bounced around off a couple of Ken Denver players. It was right at the stick of Bomer who just let it fly. Maybe not his best shot he's ever taken in his life, but flutters up and over willfully and into the back of the net. When he tells that story tomorrow at school, it's, hey, I ripped that one top cheese. And, and I'm going to think... Uh, a man that has no bet tells no lies. That's right. And I don't <laughs> think anyone can read that off the stick. <laughs> Three nothing lead now for your steam oh. sailors. Norton trying to get involved physically or continue to be involved. Tillman though, a tough customer for Kent Denver, probably their best player that they have at least looks like that tonight. He is engaged in all facets, had the best chance and could have tucked one in the first period, but was unsuccessful in trying to do so. Tillman holds on to his man. Gets called off of uh, getting any penalty. Nice job with the communication there from the official instead of going right to raising the arm. X Stevenson makes a nice little move. He's going to try and dipsy doodle around a couple players, and he is off sides. He came in and ripped a shot that would not have counted. 
as Ken Dunder has a couple extra words and it looks as though Stevenson's headed back to the box and Donovan will join him some matching penalties here that's just going to be making sure the temperament of the game doesn't get out of hand that's probably a good call um, as by design I'm seeing the same type of uh, refereeing uh, approach as last night and they're letting them play it really is nice and that's I think something I learned a lot of it's about game management it's going to be worked over off of the near side corner kept alive by Sis his shot was a weak one they've been looking for anyone in front didn't get anybody though now it's going to be taken by Helber Helber on his backhand reverses course loses his footing comes up to the blue line kept alive there by Choi he'll send one to the far side corner and picking it up is Fritzen Fritzen Bodies one man off. Dangles loses the puck. Shot wide of frame there. Off the stick of Cameron Beast. And it's picked up again by your Sailors. They will clear at least to the neutral zone. Now it's Fritzen who gathers it back for Steamboat. Works it in the offensive end. Stops up at the far side hash mark. Sends one to Elliott. Off his skate to Sis at the blue line. Sis walks down. Scissor cycles with Fritzen. Gets it back from him. Sis picks his head up. Sends one across. Finds Whitley who shoots. Oh, Big oh. save. Rebounds there. But Vietnam could not tuck that one home. No, he tried. Shot from the blue line, hits bodies in front. Nice job from Wilfley getting in the way of that. And your Sailors continue to pour it on here in the second period, picking up right where they left off after the first. Now a long stretch feed. Kent Denver two on one. Here comes Choi down the slot, and it's sent through that slot area, but Choi had already skated through. And the Sailors do pick up, and they'll take this one up ice. Nice poke check, and here comes Kent Denver again. Fitzen was going for a change. A breakaway for Kent Denver. Oh, great sliding play from Fitzen. He ends up knocking into Kavanaugh and ensuing the post as well. Knocks it free, and we will have a face-off in the steam mode end. Great play to get just the puck on that one and not take him out for resulting in penalty shot. Oh, absolutely. I don't think you could do it any better. Um, long body, long stick, and he certainly broke up that breakaway. Uh, and now we have a whistle to the blocker side of Kavanaugh with 11.29 left, 3-0 Sailors in the second period. Nomina check goes D to D, finding McIntosh. Tried to work it up the wall, gets it to his intended target, Shoreland. But a shot then, as Shoreland kind of mishandled it, it handcuffed him there on that far side wall. Ended up at the stick there of the defender, Bender, and he's able to get one on frame. Nearly got that past Kavanaugh, who seemed surprised to see it coming in. And I can attest, sometimes you don't get that off the right stick angle, and uh, way, to, way to squeeze. Feel the puck, see the puck, control the puck, control the game. Absolutely. Face-offs down. The Sailors are controlling the game at 3-0 right now, but you have to make sure you keep it clean, and their breakouts recently haven't been such. It's going to be taken by Kent Denver and worked by the Sun Devils. Nice job from Bayer. Needs a little bit of help, but finally, with the assistance of French, the Sailors do gain the neutral zone. Tillman, however, picks it up for Kent Denver. He's into the zone on side. Works in the far side corner. Looks out front. Got a man in the high slot. Chance for Stutz. That shot off of bodies. A nice job sacrificing set body. I think that was Shoreland who ducked to a knee to block that shot. Fire at the other end. Going to try to send one out front himself, but couldn't do it. Ends up at the far side blue line. Kept alive there by McIntosh. Sending it down the wall. Shoreland's in in pursuit. Sending... Fires it around near side. Byer absolutely blasted on that one by two different Kent Denver defenders. He stays on his feet. And the Sailors stay on the attack. Shoreland dangles in the high slot. Gets one off to his nominee check. Shoots one. And Wilfley with a nice stop himself at the other end. Same kind of deal there. He just saw it at the last second. Reactionary save, but he's able to make sure there's no rebound. It's great to see the transition of uh, some of the highlight points that we saw in the Stony Lake game, and they were establishing body control in front of the net and making every save, um, or every save that went, excuse me, Stony Lake's way, and then he had to fight for it. So um, at least we're we're seeing trending, and that's good coaching and disciplinary. Uh, well, they're obviously listening to the coach. Yeah, and the system's working. That's the other thing. I mean, the coach can say it, but you got to listen. Uh, it's Nye Camp who went for the body, forgot the puck, but he does get help. Looks like it's Patty Bomer 
Sends it up off the wall, gets it to Fritzen. Doe dragging a dangerous one at the blue line, but he maintains control. Fritzen now stops up, shoots one, hits bodies and sticks in front and goes wide. Now it's going to be gathered by Kent Denver, and Oxenrider will outlet this beautiful pass up to Helbert. Helbert's away, shoots one, stopped by Kavanaugh. Rebound gathered in by Kent Denver. Another shot this time from the blue line. Hit Fritz and stick dangerously in front, but ends up going just wide. Sun Devils starting to find a little bit more rhythm offensively than we saw them have at any point in the first. And the Sailors have got to be made very cognizant that they do not slouch defensively. Make sure you keep the puck in front of you and get it out of the zone. They have not been able to clear cleanly for the last three or four shifts, really. Sun Devils have to touch up as it didn't squeak to the neutral zone. Worked up to Norton, and it looks as though a whistle blows. Icing the call. Comes all the way back to the Steamboat Sailors end. They're up 3-0 against visiting Kent Denver. 9.05 left on the clock in the second. Which brings me to Steamboat Motors. Four Dodge Jeep Ram trucks with store-to-door door, door service. And online at SteamboatMotors.com. West Steamboat on Highway 40. Buck is down. Stevenson will gather after a nice clean win from the Sailors. And that's something I've noted too today, Tim, is there's been a lot more face-off wins and possession because of it. It's going to be Tillman who gathers a loose puck in his own end now and will skate one up himself, trying to just get one on frame. Kavanaugh with the save, rebound to Whitlinger near side. Up the wall, not out. Keeping alive at the blue line there was Godfrey. Now it's going to be picked up by Stutz. Back to Godfrey, back to Stutz. Near side hash mark. Stutz tried to turn one on frame, couldn't do it. Outlet pass, skips over the stick there of Whitlinger. Could go the distance, it will. Icing called, and it comes back to the steam mode end again. But nice job from Ken Denver. You see them trying to get back in this game. They're down 3 0 to your steam mode sailors, but they finally are getting a little bit more offensive zone time, and that possession will lead to chances. And I couldn't agree more. Often that we don't agree on much, but I'm yeah. seeing an exact opposite game from the Sailors dictating and executing their will on the ice here. Kent Devers kind of playing uh, a little bit of Steamboat's role against uh, Stony Lake right now if we were going to talk about that game. But 3-0, uh, this would be a great time for Kent Denver to find a little bit back, at, back in this game. But uh, what I'm seeing is complete control on the Sailors end. So obviously... All right, Tim. All right, all right. All right. Oh, okay. Take it easy on me. You're right. You're Take right. it easy on me, all right? Okay. I'm not wearing the glasses tonight, all right? My bad. My bad. <laughs> you're um, right. It's, it's I was colored I really was talking just like last couple shifts and yeah, a little bit of a... At least a little bit of a pushback after that third goal from the Sailors. But you're absolutely right. 3 nothing game here. Steamboat's on top, and they're looking to exert more dominance in the ensuing shifts. Work down to Kent Denver. Man's there in the high slot. Puck goes over him. Tillman keeps it alive. He fires. That one off the skate of Fritzen. Now taken by Byer. He's got a man up ice if he can get it to him, but Shoreland was already kind of pulling up at the blue line. He couldn't catch the pass that was late. And the Sailors are that close to having a man stretching free on a breakaway. Nice cut from Shoreland on that. He saw the possession change. And here's that first man out. If Fritzen gets him on the initial look, he's away. And he'll be all alone from the red line in. I mean, we're seeing exactly what we were talking about, the game adjustments from last night's game. But not, not to reiterate about how the trends and lessons uh, are going to be applied. Sailors now trying to contend for a possession in the neutral zone. Fritzen will take it, and he'll just dump this one into the offensive end and go in and pursue it himself. Now Byer takes a hard slash, it looked like, but the officials didn't see it. Shoreland gets drilled there. It looked like he was losing his footing. He's going to go for it. Man will go for a trip. It's Helber. That was one of those combinations. I think Shoreland was off balance already, and then Helber kind of drove him in a little bit. Tripping the call, but your sailors are having the power play. And this is their second chance at the man advantage tonight. I believe they had one of the first, right? Absolutely. Right. Denver had two chances on the man advantage. Uh, the Sailors had one. They'll have another one here. With 7.23 to go in the second period of play, for everything Tim said and what I've said from the press box, this is an important time because the Sailors have a chance to get that next goal, which is always the most important one, right? Absolutely. The next shot is the most important goal. <laughs> it's it's going to be a seam pass. Shot Ooh. there from Bomer. He wanted to wind up and fire, but slipped under his stick. He 
Didn't get that one to go on frame. And now it's going to be picked up by Znamenicek behind his own goal. Gets away from the forechecking pressure of Kent Denver. Pass up ice. Ends up hitting some sticks. And French is into the zone. Bodied. Now Bomer shoots. Big save from Wolfley. And he will hang on. Good chance there from the Sailors. You like to see it because you like those line rushes. But you got to think that from a possessive standpoint, on the power play, set up. You don't need to rush through anything. You want to move with pace and purpose. But you don't need to rush in and fire a shot that you could you know, possibly get a better chance off of if you set things up offensively. Absolutely. Traditionally, it's not a Tokyo Drift race. Yep. You know, we're not doing fast and furious. We want to control the zone and therefore find the open spots that the power play, or excuse me, the penalty kill is going to give you. Now I'm going to check back in the neutral zone. Slides one through. He's got French. Nice pass there to Bomer. Dangles around the man. Bomer's on his backhand. Tries to tuck one upstairs. Rebound was there as well, but Wolfley is thankful to have that go under the leather. And he hangs on. 108 left in the power play. 6.31. 6.31 remaining in the second period. 3 left in scoring. We've got power play unit number two coming over the boards. And it's, it's going to be key for Steve Barre here to be able to at least establish control of the puck and be able to move around in a concise and determined manner. Stevenson, sorry, Stevenson will try to initiate just that. Gets it to Fritz and back to Stevenson. Near side now to Elliott. The nice thing is what I heard you say so often last night was connect a few passes in a row. And we've been able to do that. If not clean always, we have been connecting passes, and I like the play we've seen from Steamboat. Here's Fritzen, trying to prove me right. Fritzen scissor cycles with uh, Stevenson at the blue line, gets it back, and Fritzen walks into the slot. He shoots mm. just off the mark. Had a great chance there as he was right in the home base, and willfully lucky to see that one go just wide. Picked up again. Working off the near side half walls, Elliott up to Fritzen. Fritzen flutters one back to Elliott, sends it down the half wall. He was looking for Nykamp to jump back. But the Sailors keep it alive. Stevenson at the blue line. Dangerous play. Keeps it alive, though. Here's Elliott now. Winds and fires. Stopped by Wolfley, and he'll hang on. Now that's a strong play. That went exactly as planned. They've driven... Ripley's obviously driven... Uh, excuse me. Drawn that up on the board, and they've obviously practiced that a lot. So it's good to see execution out there from the Sailors, um, at least from last night, and a good jump back. You know, it's amazing to see what 5A to 4A is. So, uh, our Sailors, it, it could be any game, even last night. I, I don't think the score is going to be a difference of the will and the lessons learned that come out of that game. Absolutely. Man's out of the box for Kent Denver, and we've got 5-on-5 five five play again here from the Howie Dome. Pass to Elliott near side. Rips one stop by Wolfley. And it's going to be rimmed around. Elliott keeps it alive. Sends it down the half wall to Nykamp. Tries to put it out front, but can't. Second effort gets him the puck again, far corner. Walks up the wall and finds Fritzen. Down the wall again, he's looking for Beyer. Too far for him, but Elliott's there. Elliott out of the corner. Sends it to Beyer. That got through him, but Fritzen keeps it alive. Rips a shot. Bounces around. Beyer in the slot. Can't connect with anything. And it's chipped out to neutral zone by Kent Denver. Stevenson with a nice soft area play to Fritzen. Turn back the other direction. And here comes Kent Denver. They're trying to streak. One on five. The man just sends a fluttering backhand on Kavanaugh and he'll hang on. He didn't want anything to do with anything. 4.34 remaining. Second period play. 3-0. Your Steamboat Sailors on top of visiting Kent Denver. And a message from Seaboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, and more. Knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products in West Steamboat. As well as, oh, here we go. A face-off, as well as a face-off. A shot there off of the draw, stopped by Kavanaugh, rebound picked up, put out front, shot off the pipe. Good opportunity there from Oxenrider. And Kent Denver shot again. Third one in a row here that Kavanaugh has had to fight off. Well, he fought off two of them, one off the post, and the Sailors are just trying to get out of their own end. I counted two. Taken by Sis, fight around near side, worked to the blue line, and Godfrey loses possession, and the Kent Denver team has to backtrack to their own end. Tillman battled for, loses the puck, in comes Bomer, and he gets poke checked at the last minute there. He's now going to check in the neutral zone. We'll have to wait as the Sailors are in offsides a little bit too fast. Was Bomer as he reached for that puck? 
Wow. You know, Mr. Chase, we're calling Bomer's name a lot. I, I'm seeing a lot of Bomer out here with every good play. Um, and you can see that across the lineup. And what a wonderful bounce back from yeah. last night. And obviously, I say that a lot, but absolutely, there's a bounce back, there's a will, and clearly there. What comes with adversity comes with uh, learning a lesson, and I, I really get to see the sailors have some some jump and executing on it, everything that we talked about. But they may be, we know what we're talking about. That's probably it. It's all us. We know everything. Well, Ask us, we'll tell you. 3.45 remaining here in the second period of play. 3 nothing lead for your Steamboat Sailors. Face off just in front of the Steamboat bench. And I will piggyback off what you just said and say I love the bounce back as well. Three games in a row is never easy. Here comes a chance for Byer. He's into the zone. Oh, big save from Wolfley. And he was out to make a nice stop and cut down the angle on Byer, who was streaking in behind the D. Chance at the other end for Kent Denver. Good poke check from McIntosh. Now he escapes pressure and gives a pass up to Stevenson. Now to Byer. Byer is going to be run into there at the blue line. And here's Kent Denver. Choi trying to get free of Stevenson's active stick. Choi again. Nice little dangle there to get free of at least one man than two. But his pass just off the mark. Kent Denver in their own zone. Chipped up the near side half wall. And the Sun Devils are away again. Intercepted his own line by McIntosh. Will put possession back into the Seamboat hand. And here once more is McIntosh taking it in himself. Far side half wall. Down to the corner. McIntosh trying to fight off of a Kent Denver defender. Slides it low. Gets it to Byer. Up top to Stevenson. Rips a shot looking for a tip from Shoreland. Just wide on that attempt. Though he did get a stick on it. Now a clearing attempt from Kent Denver. Says all we need to know about that shift. And it was I need off the ice. Icing call. 236 remaining here in the second period of play. 3-0 score. Your Sailors are still on top here from the Howie Dome. And speaking of which, Coach Ripley's got everyone dialed up. I see all three lines rolling and humming. A lot like Steamboat Roofing. For all your roofing needs, go to SteamboatRoofing.com and help the Sailors race a roof every night and victory. It's going to be a face-off that's battled for by Vietnam, eventually picked up by Tillman. And Tillman's going to take this one skating away. Tries to send one on frame. Bad angle. Stopped by Kavanaugh. Picked up now by the Sailors. And it's going to be Whitlinger out to Elliott. Elliott almost gets free. And he's in. He shoots. Big save from Wolfley. And then bodies collide with posts. And we have a face-off coming outside the zone as Vietnam lost his footing into the net there. A lot of things he, happening. Wolfley was down early on that. And yeah. Elliot, he, he noted it. He tried going upstairs. I think that may have caught the cage of Wolfley. That's a noggin. That's a noggin shot. Yeah, I mean, do do what you can. They don't <laughs> ask, they don't ask how. I've said that before, but um, great desperation save and spread out. Desperation escape, excuse me, by the uh, Kent Denver goalie. And here we are, another shot. Whitlinger with that chance. Off of a dasher as he misfired and didn't get it to go on frame. Whitlinger again near corner. Sends it out to Fritzen. Puts it to the far side for waiting Elliott. Down the wall he goes to Vietnam. Back out of Gretzky's office to the near side to Whitlinger. Back down, down again to Vietnam. Up to the high slot, keeping it alive as Sis. Down to Fritzen, far side dot. Fritzen doesn't like what he sees. Comes out to the high slot himself once more. Skates around a couple men. Shoots one. That off a stick and wide. Fritzen again. Picking it up. He'll send one down to Vietnam off his skate, but he gathers with the backhand. And eventually will fight off one Kent Denver defender. Gets it back to Fritz and dangles a man. Poked off of his stick there from Stutz. And Stutz will just outlet this one with the Sun Devils trying to find a little bit of offense. But a nice job from the Sailors to regather in the neutral zone. Body collides. Man goes down hard. And it's going to be a whistle as that was Cox who was knocked well, hard to the ice right yeah. here in front of the press box. You know, I like 22. He's got a lot of vinegar in him. I like his game. You know, he's a little jitterbug out there, but he's, uh, like some of us, we weren't gifted with uh, 
Angus Fritzen's uh, <laughs> yeah. peak in years plotting. <laughs> so um, he's got to keep his head up out there, but that looked like a clean check and no penalty on the play. 1-0-4 remaining here in this second period of play. 3 nothing score. Your Sailors are on top. The officials do agree it was a clean hit. No hands following through the body or anything. It was well executed by the Sailors player. It was just a little bit of a size disparity there. Stevenson now in behind the goal with a pass to Znamenicek. He's bodied off but got it around far side. Sent towards the frame. Hit skates in front. Stevenson battles again. Picks up the loose puck and outlets this one to Nykamp. To Stevenson. Potential three on one. Oh, Stevenson didn't see it. Sends it out front. Comes off the boards. Znamenicek picks up. Fires a shot. Doesn't get through. Picked up now by Troy. He's got a man streaking. Couldn't get it to him. It's a three on three now. Little drop pass there. Nice back check though from the Sabres. And guys, Bomer again. Now with the laid off side. Whistle blows. That one came out to the neutral zone. And we've got 29 seconds remaining here in stanza two. The lead remains three for your Steamboat Sailors. And you've got to think, just the thought I'll kind of wrap up with before hearing yours. You don't want to get sucked into the physical game, right? No. Nope. Denver down 3 nothing, a lot like what we saw the Sailors in yesterday. But instead of getting sucked into that, that's when penalties can happen and games can change. You want to make sure you continue playing your game. Here's Tillman while I was busy gallivanting with words. Continuing our game. <laughs> now it's going to be Stutz. Tries to get it up front. Couldn't do it. Puck worked up to the blue line. Godfrey's there. He shoots one. Stopped by Stevenson. Nice block. Godfrey steps in. Now Norton pushes free to the neutral zone, and we've got ourselves two periods that have come and gone. Three nothing lead here for your Steamboat Sailors. Feel and like the top of the mountain right now. Yeah. Where it snows the most. Wait, what? Where Sorry. it snows the most. <laughs> We're all over the map. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have the third period of action after this. For Tim Higby, I'm Vlad and Chase. This is your Seamboat Sailor Sports Connection, KTYV 105.7 and online at SeamboatRadio.com. KTYV 105.7 and sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student athletes outside to enjoy all that Steamboat has to offer. Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working in and giving back.
Hamilton. I'm number 36, and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for probably five years. Steamboatmotors.com. and financial services, solutions for life.
12 years. For a With the red dog. I am Max and I'm not and I'm proud to be a single person. <laughs> This is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we love to sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student-athletes outside to enjoy all that Steamboat has to offer. Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working in and giving back. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working in and giving back. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working in and giving back. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working in and giving back. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working in and giving back. The competitive nature of high school sports and a success and encourage teamwork and leadership of high school sports. I'll find members of the and home Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Vlad and Chase joined in just a little bit with uh, Tim Higby in just short order. He's wrangling his five-year-old, apparently. She's becoming a hockey fan. 
and here he comes, right up the, right up the steps. Your Seamount Sailors own a 3 nothing lead as we head into the final period of play as Tim has regathered his wits about him. I just was telling them about your five-year-old you were chasing around. And, uh, Keep him being limber. Yeah, it's all about it. Aren't you happy you were a goalie when you were young? Your agility is next level. <laughs> I got to thank my parents for that one. I think they foretold. Hey, didn't you tell me you just saw, your, was it your mom for the first yeah. time in, in a while? That's awesome. Yep. So good, good holidays. Good holidays. Yeah. Well, holidays are for the family. That's what it's all about. I agree. We've got uh, both teams retaking the ice here as we'll settle into a third period of action that sees the Sailors only a 3 nothing lead as we enter the final 17. And Tim, thoughts on this game and what the Sailors have to do to close it out? Well, I think they just got to keep to this things that have been actually working. And that is connecting passes, being being a full unit out there, five, five players, and being able to make uh, passing lanes without the puck. So, three passes together. Wow, we're already up 3 nothing. How about that? Face-off is down, and we're underway here with the third. It's going to be Kent Denver who gets it in deep. Fritzen will chase it down and pick it up for Steamboat. Going off the wall is Shoreland. He can't get it out. Comes back to him, and he'll just slow things down. Going to Fritzen. D to D to Stevenson. Up the middle. Dangerous play, but he found French. Quickly to Bayer, who gains the red line, and will try it to Shoreland. Gives it off now to French. Shoots one. Blocked off beautifully by Tillman, who got in that shooting lane. Now it's Stevenson. Tried to send it out front, but Godfrey was in the lane himself. And you see Kent Denver for all of what they've had, which has been an onslaught from Steamboat most of this game. They've done well in a lot of regards, and I think the best one they've done so far is blocking shots. Absolutely. And the out. Yeah, absolutely. I think they're D-zone D-ing up, uh, getting exactly in those uh, shooting lanes. It's creating a little bit harder for the uh, Sailors' offense. And defense can turn into offense. Sometimes the best offense is a great defense. And sometimes the best defense is a great offense. Sometimes. Wait. So our offense is going to be our defense. Our defense is going to be our offense. And they're not going to know what hit them. Sometimes the best partner is the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> right next to me, Vaughn Chase here <laughs> at Howie Arena. 1603 in the third period. Just starting 3-0 to and be. And power play. And a power play. Man got called for cross-check, and it's Tillman who eats up minutes on every piece from power play to penalty kill to even straight five on five. So having him in the box right now is going to be tough for Kent Denver. Your sailors with a great chance to really put the nail in the coffin. I mean, proverbial nail in the coffin. Patty Bomer's having a heck of a game. He gives it off to Znamenicek. He runs into a little bit of a lake, Lake Howie down there, and loses the puck, but Shoreland's in in support. This one is so early, right? Fifteen and a half minutes of hockey to play. Absolutely. But as the Sailors, if you put a goal in on this man advantage, it really is a steep hill to climb for this Kent Denver team if they want to get back into it. We'll see if they can as Bomer. Has help now down low by Vietnam. Lost it. Didn't really know where that one was. It carried off his shin guard. Was picked up by the Sun Devils and sent the length of the sheet. And we've got the second unit coming on for Steamboat. Stretch pass now. Finds Vietnam. Tries to dangle him in. Could not do it successfully. And the Sailors have to backtrack to their own zone. Vietnam will now peel across the neutral zone. Turns up ice instead of going to the bench. And in comes Bayer. Rips a shot high and wide. A little higher next time and he might hit netting. And we got it by Kent Denver again. Shot passes off the back of a Kent Denver defender. And now a man streaking up ice. Stevenson trying to angle him, but it's pushed out front and a little bit of a miscue there between the defenders and the gap. All of a sudden, Kent Denver with a chance. And they continue to put the pressure on here on the penalty kill. A nice job from this forward unit comprised of Donovan and Oxenrider just to kill off some time. Now it's Bayer at the other end for Steamboat. Tries to gather a possessive opportunity for the Sailors, but needs help. Nykamp is there to do just that. Eventually hits off skates and goes to Stevenson, who does keep it alive. Now to Fritzen. Sends it down low. We've got a man out of the box, and we're 5-on-5 five five here from House and Ice Arena. And Kent Denver has done their best job to at least stay in this one for now. Your Sailors up 3-0. Here's Tillman on the four check. 
And it's going to be worked around, however, by Fritzen on a quick one-touch play. That's Stevenson. Stevenson up to Nikan. Got away from him. It's picked up now instead by Tillman for a moment, but good active stick from Nikamp. And the Sailors are away again. Man almost sneaks by. But a good job to recover there from Helmer. Well, here's our guy. This is Tillman into the zone. Shoots one. Big save. The rebound is going to come all the way out to the neutral zone where it's taken by Byer. And Byer had a man go in well before the puck. And Nikamp tried to get back out of the zone, but it was a little bit too slow in his bit to do so. And that makes me think of it as sometimes a little bit of a mix-up. But there is no mix-up at Steamboat Switchback Sports, a proud Steamboat Sailor sponsor and sponsoring all skiing and biking needs. Of our corner of Fort, Fort and Lincoln in the West Building downtown. Nice. Can okay. we take him here? <laughs> we'll more of that, more of that. We'll take that. 13 minutes and change remaining here in the game now. 3 0 lead for the Sailors. Znaminichak is going to work into the near side corner from his defensive position. Picked up by the Sun Devils again. And it's going to be an outlet pass to Tillman. Gathers it somehow, some way. Nice job from Tillman even to get that one wrangled in. Shot goes off of Sis's stick and into the net behind the goal frame. So we've got a faceoff that stays inside the defensive end for your Sailors, but good job from Sis. Active stick getting in the shooting lanes, and both teams have done a really good job of that. Not a lot of clean shots for either squad, and the ones they've had have kind of been bad angles. And that's exactly what you're looking to do as a defensive unit. And we appreciate that in the goal. It's not an easy position. And so anything uh, that your team can do to at least inhibit a clean shot or at least not screen yourself, you know, we'll, we'll take that. And I want to correct myself real quick. He ain't our guy when it is. Yeah. Uh, we are Sailor Sports sponsored by Steamboat and KFMU. Um, and that's where our allegiance is. But, you know, when I see a player, I just got to call it out. And, man. <laughs> Love it. Red Leader has the puck now. Sailors are away from their own end. He's going to try a toe drag and look to make his way to the center of the ice. Got that pass but wasn't ready for it as Nikamp nearly found him. And Kent Denver does take this one. More time and space than Oxenrider may have known he had. Taken back by the Sailors deep in their own zone. Picked up in McIntosh's clearing attempt. Ends up at the stick of a Sun Devil player. Now it's going to be taken by the Sailors again. Norton just dumps it in, goes for a change. And Fritzen will pinch in from his defensive positioning. Runs a man over while successfully getting the puck deep as well. And the Sailors' new unit comes off the bench. You know who I have not seen since that first period? is Kretschmar. Yep, yep. No, that's, that's not a good sign. Uh, but obviously... Excuse me. We've got good medical people, so yep. uh, there's a good reason why he's not out there, and we're hoping that he's going to have a speedy recovery. Maybe it's best to take him out of the game when we're already up 3 nothing. So Chance now for Bayer to make his way deep into the zone. However, Kent Denver takes it back, and Tillman is on the rush again. Only man that's really creating any offense for Kent Denver here is Tillman. However, the Sun Devils try to prove me wrong. Nice job by Fritzen just to body a couple guys off. Long stretch pass. He finds his mark. It's Byer. He's in a row. Byer all alone on the breakaway. Makes a move and scores. Great move from Byer. And it is 4-0 just like that. Great pass from Fritzen. And a heads-up play. Byer is all alone from his own blue line. All the way in on goal. And he undresses willfully. Making it 4 nothing. It's amazing when you draw it up that way and it goes out on the ice. But I'm going to let you have the call on that. But that was a tasty dish with us. He's all finished. No sweet dish. Yeah, yet again. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, you took one out of your book right there. A little, a little I thought of that. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. The backhand does taste better. 10.51. The only thing I would have done is gone upstairs just to make it look cooler. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You do get a bonus yeah. for 1-800-collect-save and goal of the night. <laughs> Ten and a half minutes to go here in the game. 4 nothing lead now for the Sailors. And you've got to think that this feels much better than last night at this point in the game. Shot is a high riser. That was a dangerous one. Floats over the goal. Kavanaugh stayed up, which was a nice thing. Good adjustment that we didn't see a lot of last night. So good on him. Vietnam 
over skates the puck. In again comes Kent Denver, or very nearly so. And eventually Godfrey sends one right into the steamboat bench. I don't know if the backup goalie said something to him, but uh, he let him know that, hey, keep your helmet down, kid. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to credit him for a stop on that one. Because <laughs> that, was, that was right in on the bench there, and uh, that's why you keep your gear on on the bench. But, I mean, this is a great game. We, we earlier talked about who's going to get that next goal, and that's going to be a pivoting point in this game. We're up 4 nothing now. It, it's as the game as the game goes to its closing points so we're about 10 minutes under um, we're seeing a lot more comfortable play from the sailors but you know the Achilles heel it, it could be it, it could be something else so we'll see we got to finish the game I mean uh, that's not much short <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just make sure that you finish strong you don't need another one uh, but don't let your foot completely off the gas, that's for sure. No more we're, Swedish comments. So. We're down to Stevenson. <laughs> Out front, and it goes right back to him from the goalie, in fact. Up now to Sis, back down to Stevenson to the high slot, and he can't get the shot to go. Taken now by Kent Denver, and then dispossessed by Sis. Look for Whitlinger, couldn't connect. Now an intercept by Elliott. And Elliott comes up with Vietnam as well, two on three. Oh, nearly got it to him off some sticks. Vietnam in on the four check, and Denver, though, possesses its Choi in the far side corner. Tries to duck around a potential hit from Norton. Vietnam takes over for Steamboat on the four check. That bid was successful. Now Vietnam body off and hit hard there as well. Play continues. Sis. Sends it up to Vietnam, had the man on the backhand, tried to get it over to him, but couldn't connect with Norton. And eventually it's shoveled deep behind the Kent Denver zone. Or Matt, pardon. Worked up near sidewall now. Choi's going to try and chase it down. Patty Bowman just off of the bench. He's got one of the four goals so far today. There's like four Bowmers out there. I'm sorry, Vladen. <laughs> Here's Nikan into the zone. He's on side. On his backhand, tried to tuck it out front. Came right back to him, and Nikan once again gets it to, you guessed it, Bomer. Oh! <laughs> Bomer in that far side at the hash mark. Tries to pick the pocket. Has help from the defense who pinches in. Gets it back again. Tried to dish it off there, but Norton couldn't connect. Bomer again, this time dispossessed. Here comes Tillman. Tillman, always a danger. One on one against Fritzen. Gets through. Kicks it to his forehand. McIntosh, though, got back beautifully. Tillman now throws McIntosh to the wall, looking for a little support near side corner. 7.43 to go here in the game. It's 4-0, Steamboat on top. Out of the corner comes Kent Denver. Sun Devils player gets shoved to the ice there, picked up by the Sailors, and they're out in the way. Here now is Norton. Kicks it to his skate, dumps one in deep, and Bomer will be the first one to the puck near side hash mark. Bomer. On his touch, makes a nice little move. Now he's poke checked free of possession. And out comes Mr. Cox, who has been the recipient of one of the bigger checks of the game, though. Cox probably weighs in at about 86 pounds, soaking wet. Taken now by Nykamp. He's going to pass one up. Oh, he's got a man who is reaching. It's Byer. Byer wants more. Rips one. Stopped by Wolfley. Yeah, as Byer was coming in one on three and didn't have quite the legs that he did on the breakaway. 7.03 to go here, Tim. Third period to play, 4 0 lead for your Steamboat Sailors. And that looked pretty smooth out there. And as the Sailors are playing, we're going to remind you about Mountain Mattress and Furniture helping you and Sailors get a good night's sleep. Come in, test nap today in Loggers Lane. Obviously, we've got some rest in this last, uh, what, th three games and three nays. <laughs> Um, I, I think we all know our sleep number now. That's right. Now mattress and furniture. Here is Shoreland on the near side. Another successful floor check for Steamboat. They've been able to do this for the better part of the game as Kent Denver struggles just to get out of their own end. Here's Sis. Nice move. Rips a shot. Just high and wide. Picked up now by Shoreland. Cycled down the half wall. Now it's Byer. You can see his legs are churned. And after that goal, he's got all the energy. Shoots one over the goal frame, however. And Byer will try to duck away from one man. Needs a little bit of help here. The physicality continues to ratchet up, and it's at the blue line. Sis shoots one. Tip to the near side corner off a Steamboat player. Stevenson ducks through a hit. Now tries to come out front, and instead is angled to the far side boards. Gets Shoreland. Out front to Byer. Sends one through the crease. 
Stevenson in the far corner picks up the loose puck. Will send across Stevens by on the one timer, just misfired. And now Shoreland at the blue line. Sends it down to Byer again. Got away from him and has sent the length of the sheet by Kent Denver. And that will go for icing. 5.52 remaining in the game now. Still 4 nothing here from the Howie Dome. Well, a little bit of a different game. You know, uh, we're up 4 nothing, And, that, and that, I, I, you got to give credit where credit's due as I choke on my words. But... <laughs> I really think that uh, Coach Ripley had a great game plan coming out here, and the last two games certainly are showing something, uh, at least another arrow in the quiver for the Steamboat Sailors tonight because they're just dominating and they are befuddling um, Kent Denver here. You got to give credit where credit's due, you say? Well, then we got to talk about the officials. Excellent <laughs> job from the Stripes today. All four Zebras doing a really fantastic job managing this one and making sure no tempers get out of hand. It's worked by Kent Denver now. Godfrey gives it off to Choi in your side corner. Tries to send one through. It's free! Oh, and Wilfrey gets a very nice gift from one of those officials. He thought he found that whistle, he found that whistle in the pocket there. Rick whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend, go see them. Cody and Craig at the gang at Alpine Lumber for all your building needs. They know where their whistles are. They're not in their pocket. They're ready. Vietnam wins the face off with help from Elliott. Shot is a high riser from Fritzen. He's not making friends with a shot like that from the blue line. It's going to be taken by Fritzen again. He's in his own zone. Makes a nice move, then two. Gets away from pressure and is going to be tripped up somewhat. Comes free to Vietnam. Vietnam shoots. Big save, Wilfrey. Oh. And no rebound to speak of. Vietnam, yeah. of course, scored goal two of the evening for the Sailors. So you know that he is anxious to try to tuck another one home. And I got to say, he's fa he fought that off there. Yeah, I'm he sorry, did. not to cut it in. He fought that off on, on a goalie point. That was a tough shot. He's leaning the other way, sliding the other way. Great shot placement with under five minutes before nothing in the third period in the Kent Denver zone. Sis cycles it down the wall. He's got Nykamp. Nykamp loses possession, taken by Tillman and intercepted by Norton. Nice job there from the Sailors. Four check. Here's Bowman near side. Up the wall, Sis keeps it alive. Oh, he's got a man. It just gets over the stick of Norton on the pass. Skipped a little bit. Now cycled to Nykamp. Goes over the goal frame. Comes out front. And it's going to be kept alive there by Znamenicek. Only for a moment, however. Kent Thunder gets it to the neutral zone. Bodies collide on intentional hits. Now it's Bowman. Makes a move. And that one is sent deep to the Kent Thunder zone. Sun Devils work it to the near side half wall. Up said wall, but Norton intercepts, so it won't go to the neutral zone. He sends it down below the goal. Bowman will pick it up. He's in Gretzky's office. Patty Bowman now looking for an option. Got it. He's got his man at Sis. Shoots one for the point. Now it's Nykamp with a turnaround shot. Stopped there by Wilfley. Sent up the wall. Sis keeps it alive again. Gets Nykamp. Norton going for a change for the Sailors. Puck work free to the neutral zone, and Sis will take over for Steamboat. And go D to D to Znamenicek, who has to backtrack to his own zone on that one. He had to reach a little bit, and he's wrapped up by Tillman. Now in the far corner. Sailors work it up but not out. It's going to be chipped high by Stutz and into the netting. So this faceoff will come to the neutral zone. 3.34 left in this game. It's a 4 nothing score. Your Sailors on top. It's funny. Where credit's credit's due, uh, hard to give a compliment to. Are you still on that? <laughs> well, we're, if, we're, if we're adding compliments, I, I'm going to say the... Uh, you know, the refing squad tonight, again, consummate professional. Hard not to use any any other adjective other than that. Um, although, I did see a loose puck there. We found the whistle. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Here's Shoreland. Sent down that far side half wall, deep in the Kent Denver zone, and I find myself repeating deja vu within the words because this Sailor's attack has been relentless. And their forecheck has really impressed me tonight. Another chance on Frey, that was Stevenson. He kind of fished for it, so it wasn't a hard shot. Wilfley did make the save, but I've just got to a really say good job. I mean, this forecheck has been nonstop. 
from all the lines. Yep. You know, up and down. Yep. I think they're rolling three lines tonight, and it has been. I can't tell which is the better line. Exactly. Bomber seems to be on every line. But That's right. <laughs> <there's> a, <laughs> everyone makes a team. I just, uh, we're having a hell of a game here. Absolutely. Heck Number three to go here. now. <laughs> Four nothing to score. Worked up to Stevenson. Gives a pass off there. And the Sailors come out with possession again. It's Bayer to Fritzen. Fritzen makes a move. Sends it out front. And Stevenson will chase a loose puck down to the O-zone. Stevenson has a man on the far side wall. It's Bayer. Poke check free from him, but fortuitously goes to French. Picked up again by Bayer. However, he's in the neutral zone, so the Sailors have to regroup. Now it's Shoreland. Into the zone on side. Gives one off to Bayer. Byer skates by Godfrey, goes behind the goal to the far side now, in the corner, sends it up the wall to Stevenson, almost got free, picked up by Kent Denver, sent up, not out, hit off his own man, that's Helber who has to kick it to his stick, and the captain for Kent Denver will send it to Godfrey. Passes one up ice, connects there with Oxenrider, Oxenrider's across the offensive blue line, but the pass too far for Choi. Now it's going to be Vietnam. Long pass and a good one to Bayer into the zone offside. Gives it to Vietnam. Tries to make a move and eventually is going to not even get a shot off there as Kent Denver takes over. Sent up to Oxenrider. Intercepted by Stevenson. In his own zone now, Stevenson. D to D goes to Fritzen. Fritzen back to Stevenson behind his own net. Backhand pass. That's an ill-advised decision there from Stevenson. But he got lucky and has the puck back on his stick again, and he'll just take this one himself. Gets to the red line, shoots one in, glove down there by Wolfley, and he'll drop it to the stick and give it off now to Helber. Helber to your side. Leaves it on a nice little reverse, of course, to Cox. Now Godfrey chipped up the wall, a little bit too far there for Stutz. I think he wanted a little bit more of an angle off that wall, yep. uh, but didn't get it. 4 nothing now, 6 D5 seconds remaining in the game here. Your Sailors in route to victory. Speaking of Tale of Two Games, Charles Dick is my favorite novel author. And, and way to create no, no revolution here with the Upper Valley Bank. The only locally owned bank with the locations in Steve Craig and the FDIC member. That's important, Glenn. Always. Stillman sends this one the length of the sheet. Bounces away from his nominal check and goes for icing. And I can't come up with any other metaphor uh, other than a tale of two games. I, I haven't <laughs> seen everything that we were critically speaking about uh, the change or the adjustments that needed to be made obviously yet again a trend was set and executed out here so i i really got to give all the credit to in the locker room and the structure and the culture as i, I see as much foot movement and speed as, as i did last uh, as last game but we're we're controlling absolutely here's nycamp speaking of control He's got it in the high slot. Shot tipped in front by, you guessed it, Patty Bomer. <laughs> Taken down by Norton. He'll just second one down deep, and Bomer comes to the near side corner. He's first man on the puck. Bomer just fights off one man. Now Nykamp throws a body, and it's going to be picked up by Stillman. Stillman breaks into the zone, rips one that wouldn't have counted as Cox was off sides on the near side. Trying to break a bid for something in the late stages of period three. Four-nothing game. Well, I think the Sailors are taking out, you know, all the shine out of uh, a little bit of the ref's uh, infamous... Well, everyone's got a hand in this, so <laughs> we can all take credit for this victory. You and I especially. We we paid a, we played a big part here from the press box. Oh, we paid. 20, to talk. We did pay to talk. 20 seconds remaining now. Stillman up towards the high slot. Ends up running out of room, and he's just going to take this one all the way back behind his own goal. I think that's just, you know, that's when you put your, that's conceding victory on a chessboard right there. And uh, looks like there's a lot of respect on the ice, and uh, he's a great player. And heck, let's chalk it up for a win. Point sounded, game's over. Steve wins 4 nothing For Tim Higby, I'm Rod and Chase. Thanks so much for tuning in. This has been another Steve Sailors sports broadcast on your Sailor Sports Connection, KTYV 105.7. We're on the World Wide Web as well at steamboatradio.com.